Hi, I'm Myla Fever, and this is my video on Maxine Honkingston's story, The Woman Warrior. So, um, although some people perceive The Woman Warrior by Maxine Honkingston to be about a strict Chinese American family and their stories, um, I think it serves better as a representation of the struggle to find balance between two cultures. So one of my favorite aspects of this story is the symbolism, the motif, I guess you could say, um, and the word ghost. It's probably the most common one or the most repeated one throughout the entire story of the woman warrior. Um, to me personally, I think it represents a difference of culture and the inability to feel connected. So this quote, um, which we did a discussion on, her husband looked like one of the ghosts passing the car windows. She must look like a ghost from China. Um, to me, this quote represents a kind of a sense of like feeling like you don't really fit into either culture um, and you can't feel connected and that kind of makes you feel like you're not on the same plane, you're not on the same level, you're not, you just don't feel like you're really connected, um, which is just interesting and I think it's really significant in the story. So the emotion that I got is the narrator, the biggest one, starts to feel a little bit conflicted. Um, <clears throat> especially in the beginning story, The No-Name Woman, her mother kind of uses this scare tactic, which makes her feel a little bit conflicted. She also feels a little bit of empathy for The No-Name Woman, um, but it also kind of makes her have this, you know, these emotional inner conflicts of wanting to be part of the American culture, but also, like, be part of her family, you know? Um, so... I feel like it's just one of those emotions that you can never really connect with unless you've been through it, but it definitely opened my eyes quite a bit. Overall, it just made me kind of get to read about what it's like to be part of two cultures and the hardships and the stories, the family stories that come along with that. It made me a lot more compassionate and curious towards people who may feel like ghosts who are trying to find that balance between two cultures, but end up not really feeling like they belong to either one. Um, and so, for that reason, this was definitely one of my favorite stories, texts that we read in this entire course. Thank you.